Hey, thanks for tuning in, and welcome to another broadcast of Sound Painting Saturdays. I'm Evan Mazunik, and today I'm uh, getting ready to go to a show, actually, with my friend Billy Fox out in Rigo Park. It's a neighborhood in Queens I've never been to before, so I'm really excited to check it out. But before I do, I wanted to check in with you and just keep you posted on some thoughts and developments that have happened uh, for me over the last week and share them with you. Before I do, though, I want to uh, thank you for your comments and your responses. I will get back to you on those, even if they're on past videos. And I really appreciate the interaction. It's really open to you uh, to go back and post a response to any prior video. I will get to it. And uh, you're also welcome to post a response, uh, a video response or a text response, with ideas or with questions. I know before I had framed the series in terms of responding uh, by following my gestures, but I want to open that up and really give uh, some more freedom in how to interact, because I really, really appreciate the conversation. Okay, so today uh, I want to share with you that I went to a show this uh, Monday at Lucky Chang, and Butch Morris was performing there with the group. And I've seen him before live, but this time I really took some notes and studied what he was doing, and I've been really obsessed with conduction over the past several months, and been trying to find out as much as I can about uh, videos, finding videos online, texts, workbooks, uh, printed material, live shows, of course, which is the best. And one thing that he uses that I've started to adopt with uh, an experiment with Zaha, uh, this gesture. One thing he uses is this gesture for develop or expand, where he'll take an idea, usually a memory as he signs it, or a repeated figure as he signs it, and he'll open it up for development and then bring it right back. Almost a recapitulation, and sometimes maybe a comeback to this in sound painting language. So moving from conduction to sound painting, it's a uh, uh, messing with my mind a bit here, but I'll try to translate in between the languages pretty smoothly, as best I can. But he was using this so effectively, I've actually been trying to use a similar thing with Zaha, uh, both on this dimension and on this dimension. An idea I've seen that Butch uh, has used, I've seen it in print, but I've never had a chance to see him use it live yet, so I'm looking forward to understanding more about it. But I took this idea and really applied it to this sound painting concept of, of amplitude and range and intervals. So simply put, with Zaha, I've been using this to open up many times inside of some type of minimalistic repetitive figure, open up the time dimension or the horizontal dimension, and here open up the vertical dimension or the pitch or register dimension. So I've been working with both of those and it's been a great way to open things up and come back to the original idea and open that up, come back to the original idea. And for me, I keep it really open. You can develop, and the more and more and more I open up the hands, the further away you can stray from that initial idea. So whether you want to take that idea and move it all over the place, or stretch the idea to fill a whole range, or vice versa, if you want to slow it down, speed it up, embellish it, I leave that open to the performers as an improvised choice. I was walking home the other night, and I was thinking about all this, mulling this over as I was walking. It was a beautiful night. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to combine both of these approaches in one gesture as a shortcut? Because I've been obsessed with shortcuts. So I came up with this idea, and it's still experimental. So tell me what you think of taking this original idea and opening it up almost as if I have a beach ball in between my hands. So it's a little different from amplitude, and it's different from a space, more space fader for uh, performers in the space, and it looks different than glissando. So you have to be careful that it doesn't look also like woodwinds when we're here. But the idea is we're here, and we open it up, so that stretches both the horizontal and the vertical dimensions at the same time. And the further, further away I get, the more you can stray and develop and embellish off of that initial idea. And then we can shrink it down, stretch it, the same thing. Same thing. And I'm almost imagining a 3D sphere in here. So, stretching it out. And this will bring it back to the original idea, like a little, you know, seed. And then a big bang, and coming right back. So try that out. I'm working with that and calling it Expand to Contract, as an experimental name. And I look forward to your responses, to your ideas, and continuing the dialogue. So thank you, and I hope you have a great week. Talk to you later.